Bubba Watson just revealed he will join the Saudi-backed LIV series. In this video, let's find out that Bubba Watson just revealed he will join the Saudi-backed LIV series new. Watson has been out of action since due to his knee injury. Now with a sudden comeback into the action with being the latest player to sign with the LIV series. Meanwhile, players signing up for live are getting controversial. Rory McElroy just called players joining LIV duplicitous. But so far, Live Golf has been able to get many PGA players signed. Why is it called a duplicitous? Is it because of the millions which Saudi-backed Live has to offer? Let's find out more details. Bubba Watson, a two-time champion of the Masters, announced his transfer to the Live Golf brand on Friday as headline newcomer Henrik Stenson captured a share of the first round lead on his professional debut. As he continues to recover from the surgery on his right knee, former world number two Watson, who is presently rated 86th, has been out since May and says he won't truly play on the nascent circuit until next year. In an interview during the live feed of the opening round of the Live Golf Invitational at Trump National in Bedminster, New Jersey, Watson stated, So I should be 100% in the next couple of months. I'm fine right now. All I have to do is wait for the leg to relax so I can fire the rounds with all of my might, he replied. Watson remains a fan favorite and is yet another former major champion to make the transition to the lucrative series that has roiled the golf industry. Despite having won the most recent of his 12 US PGA Tour victories four years ago, Stenson of Sweden was relieved of his duties as European Ryder Cup captain last week after he admitted it to defecting it to the Greg Norman-backed Live Golf Series. Stenson shared the first round lead at Bedminster with former Masters champion Patrick Reed after birdieing his final two holes to finish on seven under par. After a round that included eight birdies, Stenson commented, I have to be quite satisfied with my attention, being able to concentrate on the game as well as I did today after having a somewhat busy last 10 days makes me extremely happy. The new tour, which attracted golfers with $20 million payouts, this season for its 54-hole shotgun start events, as well as millions in appearance fees for some celebrity names, has drawn the ire of both the DP World Tour and the US PGA Tour. To compete for Team Europe in the Ryder Cup, players from Europe must be members of the DP World Tour, formerly known as the European Tour. Stenson has refuted claims that his switch to the dissident circuit conflicts with his duties as Ryder Cup captain. The third performance of Liv's debut season triggered protests once more with 9-11 families accusing the organization supported by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund of being implicated in the attacks, an accusation the Saudi government has refuted. Human rights organizations claim the competition is an attempt at sports washing to improve Saudi Arabia's standing abroad. But Watson, though, asserted that the players who took a chance on the competition and defied the established tours had nothing but positive things to say. With players competing in four-man teams this week for an additional $5 million in prize money, Watson said he was drawn to the team aspect of the competitions in particular. Watson, who intends to join Liv as a non-playing team captain until he is ready to rejoin competition, stated, It's not an individual sport anymore. Stenson remarked that his first live experience was enjoyable. The shotgun start, which eliminates the possibility of different weather conditions for early and late players, is clearly very fair when we're all playing at the same time, he said. He also liked how the practice facilities, music, had a fan-friendly but unconventional feel to it. He replied, I do that at home, according to Greg Norman, the company's CEO and commissioner. Bubba Watson is a wonderful addition to Live Golf, another major champion joining the increasing roster of players on our teams. His game embodies the excitement, power and creativity that the Live Golf brand stands for. We are delighted for him to join the team because he is a risk taker and has established himself as one of the finest in the world. He will bring fresh enthusiasm and new fans to his league. Along with Phil Mickelson, Henrik Stenson and Sergio Garcia, Watson is one of the well-known athletes who was enticed by the organization's enormous rewards. According to reports in The Telegraph, Watson is expected to receive $50 million in compensation for his defection. According to the reports, Watson will serve as the captain of one of the 12 teams in the inaugural Live Golf League, which will feature a franchise system and a 14-tournament schedule. Additionally, which will feature a franchise system and a 14-tournament schedule. Additionally, the international series is starting. 
which will give amateurs a chance to be promoted into the Live series and expose underwhelming professionals to relegation. It's likely to be the end of the PGA careers for all competitors. The PGA has barred defectors from majors and international competitions like the Ryder Cup, despite claims that live events won't conflict with the current schedule. McElroy said he understands why older players were seduced by the millions of dollars in incentive pay from live golf, but that he thinks younger players who defected made a rash move by doing so during a press conference on Tuesday before this week's US Open at the country club. I comprehend. Indeed, many of these men are in their late 40s, added McElroy. Phil was in his early 50s. Yes, I believe that everybody in this group would admit that their prime has passed. But I would like to think that my best years are still ahead of me, and because I believe that their greatest years are as well. I don't understand why the guys my age are still going. That's why it seems like you're taking the easy route there. While Mickelson, 50, won golf's oldest major championship at the 2021 PGA at Kiowa Island, McElroy, 33, he didn't lose respect for him as a player, but he didn't like how Mickelson handled his switch to live golf. According to McElroy, he won a major title 13 months ago, perhaps one of the pinnacles of his career, and one of the most amazing accomplishments in the history of the game of golf. I have the highest regard for Phil as a golfer. I was unhappy in how he approached the situation but I believe he has changed and expressed a regret about how he handled several situations. I believe this means he has gained knowledge as a result. This week's US Open competition marks Mickelson's return to the country after he failed to make the cut at the Farmers Insurance Open in late January. The PGA Tour has suspended Mickelson and 16 other competitors from the first Live Golf event in London last week. Who am I to instruct Phil on how to handle things from this vantage point? McElroy said. His career has been amazing. He is a self-made man. This week's field is better with him on it. Am I disappointed that he chose the path he did? I am. But I still have the utmost regard for him. While acknowledging that it might be challenging to distinguish between bad money from clean money in sports and politics in the modern world, McElroy said he understands why 9-11 survivors and victim families are outraged. Right now, the world is quite complicated, according to McElroy. I can't imagine and I really feel for those families. It's a terribly awful situation and I have acquaintances who lost loved ones as a result of 9-11. I feel for those families and I can absolutely relate to their worries and frustrations. McElroy, who competed in LIV Golf's debut event London last week, alongside Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood and Graeme McDowell, all lifelong friends and past Ryder Cup teammates, refrained from claiming that they were engaged in sports washing for the Saudis. McElroy stated, I don't believe they're involved in it. Look, they may all choose where to play, and they have each already made their choice. They have made their bed, as my father once told me. Once you make your bed, you lie in it. They must live with their decision because it was theirs. McElroy doesn't seem eager to join them, at least not right now, because it's the correct thing to do, in my opinion, McElroy added. The people and players that went before us, including Jack Nicklaus and Arnold Palmer, helped to develop the PGA Tour. They put a lot of effort into creating something. And I hate to think that all the players who came before us have fought so hard for nothing. How do you see LIV Golf coming against the PGA? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. That's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.